Hey everybody, welcome back to Cooking with James. I'm your host, James. Today, we're gonna to be smoking a tri-tip. It is such an awesome piece of meat. I'm gonna show you how to uh, cook this thing out on the Weber kettle from beginning to end. Um, just absolutely perfect. So stick around and check this out. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. Let's go ahead and get into the cook. Okay, this is what we got, guys. We have a tri-tip. Now, when you get these, this is a two-pound tri-tip. Um, it's usually uh, well pre-trimmed. The butcher didn't even do that good of a job, so I actually had to go in and trim a little bit more off. But anyway, sometimes when you get them, they're not trimmed. There'll be a big fat cap on the bottom, maybe a fat cap on the top. You'll have to trim a little bit, but this one was was pretty good. So anyways, that's, that's the tri-tip, and all we're gonna do is uh, season this thing up. All right, so what we're using today for our seasoning, um, it's gonna be Cosmos Q Texas Beef and this is a treat. We got Black Ops. This is a brisket rub, and this stuff is phenomenal. I really like it. It's uh, it's one of my favorite um, rubs on beef. So let's go ahead and get this thing seasoned up. Okay, so we have the top seasoned up. Um, that's what you got. Now we're gonna let this thing sit out here for about oh, 15 minutes and let some of these juices and stuff come out and we'll bring it back then and season the other side. See you about 15 minutes. All right guys, it has been 15 minutes. I've just been letting it sit. As you can see, the appearance has changed a little bit. Some of the juices are coming out. We're gonna flip this thing over and repeat the same process. Cosmos Q beef, dry beef rub. <coughs> And so that black ops. All right, now we have the other side seasoned up as well. We're gonna give that about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna go show you the setup on the Weber kettle. Let's get out there. Okay, here is the setup at the Weber kettle. So first of all, as you can see, I actually have some old coals that I choked out for my last barbecue that I placed underneath. Um, the new charcoal. So don't ever throw your old charcoal away, just reuse it. Actually, it's gonna be awesome for this because I got about five or six um, coals here. It's gonna burn slowly around, and by the time um, our tri-tip comes to temperature, it's gonna be nice and hot over here, and we're gonna go ahead and sear it and set it back offset, but I got some, um, some lump mesquite, and the hickory is starting to catch. So just a minute, we're gonna go ahead and close the top on this and wait to get to about 225 to 250 degrees and then throw a tri-tip on, see you then. All right, here we are. And let's see if we can get to the temperature. Um, 248, well 88 degrees is actually the degree of uh, when it is outside, nice hot sunny day in April. But 248 degrees is what we're working with on the Weber kettle. So we're gonna go ahead and take the top off. Got some nice smoke going still. I'm gonna set this tri-tip right over here, just like that. And I have the second probe here, and we're gonna stick it in the thickest part of the meat. And once that uh, internal temperature reaches 110 degrees, we're gonna go ahead and sear it. So. We will see you in probably about 20 to 30 minutes. See you then. All right, guys, we've reached an internal temperature of 112 degrees is where we're at. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this, uh, let's see if you can see it here, yes, get down here, and take this probe out, set that aside, and I'm gonna give this just a few minutes. I'm gonna let these coals on the opposite side heat up and we're gonna give this thing a nice sear. So see you in a minute. Okay guys, it's been about five minutes. That is it. And these coals are getting super hot. So let's go ahead. Oh, there we go. That sizzle. Get that tri-tip right over those hot coals. I'm probably gonna give it about a minute or so on this side and then flip it. We'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, it's been about a minute. Let's see what we got. 
And oh yeah. Nice little char on that side. Perfect. I'm gonna flip this thing over. And get a nice char on the other side. See you in a minute. All right guys, so actually after searing, I reached the temperature of 129 degrees, which is perfect. We're actually gonna pull this thing off. It looks amazing. We'll see you inside. All right, so this is the tri-tip. It's been sitting for 10 minutes. And you know, you wanna properly cut this. So after 10 minutes, I took it off at 131. It carried over, uh, I attempted at about 138. So. A little more than I like, but let's let's cut into it and see what we got. And now I'm gonna cut right here, and then we'll slice down. So let's see what we got. Oh man, we're talking about. Oh yeah, <laughs> I know you guys can see that. I know you can see that. That is uh, that's phenomenal. That is a perfect medium rare. So what we're gonna do is, uh, we're actually gonna cut this thing. We're gonna cut this side first, and the grain was running this way, so you always wanna cut against the grain. And there you have it. And look at that. That is pull apart. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest of this up and we'll bring you back for the grand finale. All right guys, we are finished with the cook and I'm super satisfied with what turned out. I mean, you've seen it all, but um, that's what it was. I mean, the, the strips turned out phenomenal. I mean, here it is and I didn't even try. Mmm, mmm, that is so soft and tender. You have to try this now. You don't even have to uh, cook this on the grill. Just follow the temperature guidelines that I gave you. You can come out with the same results, whether it's in the oven or any other cooking device. Um, you know, just follow the temperature guidelines. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, please think about subscribing if you like the content. Check the description below to help the channel out. There is a link that will take you directly to Amazon. You can buy anything you want off of Amazon and use your Prime account as well if you use this link. It just helps me out a little bit for the channel. But uh, other than that, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this awesome tri-tip. And uh, I really appreciate it, guys. And we'll catch you on the next cook. Thanks for watching.